My name is Ellen Farley. I'm uh, a member here at Cozen O'Connor. I've been with the firm nearly six years. I'm originally from Virginia, and I went to undergrad at Purdue University in Indiana, and I went to law school at Loyola here in Chicago. I work in the property segregation department. I handle catastrophic property losses on behalf of insurance carriers and their insureds, typically fires, explosions, water losses. One of the keys to our practice is being able to respond to a catastrophic loss very quickly. The idea is to assemble a team of experts, fire investigators, electrical engineers, mechanical engineers, and do an evaluation of the loss scene to try and figure out what happened. The investigative aspect of it is fascinating. What scientists and engineers can ascertain from certain findings to me is amazing. I think the notion that we get to the bottom of why these things happen with the, with the teams of experts that we assemble is very fulfilling. The firm is very supportive of the pro bono initiative. My goal going into the year is always 100% participation. At this point, we have about 50% participation, and we encourage all of our attorneys to do up to 50 hours of community service. And the attorneys are fully credited for the time that they put into the pro bono efforts. Ellen has volunteered on a number of cases. She's always involved in pro bono matters. As soon as one closes, she's opening up another one. I represented a, a gentleman who had immigrated from Bosnia and had come to the United States with the aspiration of starting a contracting business. This man had been served with a complaint and he had been named in counts alleging fraud and civil conspiracy against him by a bank that was seeking approximately half a million dollars. And the bank had approved and had given financing for a project, but in reality there was no project at all. There was no question in my mind that he had had nothing to do with it and that he himself had been the victim of fraud. He had been defrauded by someone who he knew and that was a developer. This was someone who had signed and forged my client's name on draws from the title company without my client's knowledge. We then put together a very aggressive motion to dismiss, compiling a detailed affidavit by my client, an affidavit by the developer of the project who had in fact forged my client's name. And then we hired a forensic handwriting expert. Ultimately, the bank dismissed the action. The client was absolutely thrilled and I was thrilled. It was one of those cases that resolved exactly the way it should. Ellen really handled that case with grace. She's very talented at helping immediately in an emergency situation. She is a very consistent, even keel person. She's funny and she has a great sense of humor. She always reminds everybody that this too will pass and we'll all move on and we're going to make this as easy as possible so we can close this chapter of our lives and of this book and move on to the next chapter. The notion of someone who has found themselves in such a dire situation, the gratefulness that they show is really touching. In days for everyone that are busy, it definitely gives you pause to say, this is really the whole point. The rewards are astounding. 